Jesse. Oh, man. Sometimes I like to start a video off with getting a smell of my desk because it just smells so good. Do you want to stick your nose on my desk? Probably not. I'm aware it's been like six months. Okay, I'm aware. I'm sorry. It's not my fault though. It's not my fault. Um, you can blame my one-year-old daughter. <laughs> the first season ended on a strike and there was no new season for like a year or so. So I thought maybe I, no, I didn't. I just, I literally just forgot to do it and time passed too quickly because I've left it for like six months now. It has marinated and I literally had like an itch the other day to watch season two. Like I was legit like, come on, come on, season two. I need to record season two. Do I remember what happened in season one? Yes. You want to know why? Because I went back and watched my other reactions. I remember what I need to remember. What I would like to do for season two of Breaking Bad is actually give one character in particular a clean slate. I feel like I was a bit harsh on her in the first season because she was a bitch and I didn't like her. I would like to formally apologize to Skylar and say, you've got a clean slate. I do actually know that the first two episodes of season two are actually like the final episodes of season one because of the strike, they didn't get to do them in time. So they were just like, yeah, just chuck them at the start of season two. I will say if you're new, please do subscribe because one gives you something to watch and two, I will be doing Breaking Bad every single week until the season ends every week. Plus I also do other videos on my channel too, which you might like. Maybe. Anyways, I've done enough talking. I want to watch Breaking Bad season two before like the bugs crawl out from under my skin. So <laughs> let's watch. What happened to Skylar? <laughs> Damn it, I've already broke the slate. Just kidding, she gets a fresh, fresh wipe from uh, back to front. Is that an eyeball? What have we done? Eyeball in the pool. Uh, well, whoever's eye that is, you ain't getting that back. Oh, it's a, it's a teddy bears. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, was it that dude that Tuco beat the shit out of? God. That theme is almost like an orgasm in your ears. <laughs> what is this? It's blue. Limited edition. Maybe blue, but it's a bomb. Oh, tight, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, so it continues on. Oh, blue, yellow, pink. Whatever, man, just keep bringing me that. Okay, I feel like I didn't wait six months. I love this. They gotta know that they're working for you. Like, they don't already know that? Yeah, I thought it was this dude's eyeball. <laughs> I'm relaxed. I'm relaxed. I'm relaxed. <laughs> it's still so out of left field that it's uncomfortable. Okay, Heisenberg. K Heisenberg! <laughs> yeah, he creeps me out. He he's unhinged. Yeah, and it just ended with like here. Just the credits played. It was like, okay, we're done. Imagine if this show got cancelled after one season. That's how it ends. Good state college, adjusting for inflation. Say forty-five thousand dollars a year, two kids, four years of college, three hundred and sixty thousand dollars. Damn. Cost of living. Food, clothing, utilities. Don't remind me. Provide for, say, 10 years. So he's not a drug dealer in season two. Is Walter literally a calculator? I wouldn't be able to run the maths like that. $737,000, that's what I need. That is what I need. Huh? Three quarters of a mil? 11 more drug deals and always in a public place from now on. 11 more? You're only 11. Dude, have you got an affiliate link or something? we scam him? What did we do? What did we do? Why is he back? Heisenberg! What did we do? What's the matter with you? You can't take an ass beating bitch! Give him some of the blue drugs. There's no uh, a pulse. Do something. Do something? He, he needs an ambulance. He needs a hospital. Do something! You're he's, smart, right? He's a drug dealer, not a paramedic. Oh no. Well, He's a pussy for dying like that, honestly. Don't work in that business if you can't take a beating. <laughs> hey, Tuco! <laughs> what 
Well, he definitely ain't gonna be coming back now. Tuka, we can't do him like that, man. Buzzards and rats and all that. That's not very Christian. Oh no, we're not just gonna dump him in the car yard somewhere, are we? Oh, that's gonna get rotten. Ugh. Oh god. Oh. Ah, yes. Putting a cover like that near the car will hide the smell. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, leave him alone. I don't like when Tuco touches people. It makes me very uncomfortable. Did she just rub lube onto her stomach? What are you doing with that? I need to be able to fit through the doors. <laughs> what are you going to put on your face? Shrek's crap. Hey. Dude, you're standing there like a horror movie character. Walt. Scott, f sorry, I'm sorry, I was trying to watch Bluey. Are you okay? No. He has terminal cancer. Right? And he lives with you. I got some grilled chicken at Albertsons. You want me to heat some up for you? Oh my god. Okay, I like Skylar again. Grilled chicken sounds amazing. I'm gonna, have a, I'm gonna have Mentos. Speaking of, why do we have Mentos but not Women Toss? Oh man, he'd be so scared. It's weird to see him so vulnerable. Like, you know what? I've got all this crap. Let me clean up first. Oh, okay. He ain't sad. He ain't. He's trying to. Dude, what is going on? Okay. Enough. Walter, Walter, I'm trying to put the grilled sandwich on. Skull is trying to make a grilled chicken, and Walter's only interested in the grilled ham. <laughs> Well, you know, maybe that's not how we approach things next time, Walter, you know? Buy a flashlight. You cannot take it out on me. Fair. That was a bit... <laughs> that was a bit, uh, a little bit much. Uh, what was that for? Is that for the pizza? We just hand out cash for more drugs? Yeah, that, that ain't a cheeseburger. Oh, a gun? Oh God, Jesse. Does that come with fries though? My phone rang like eight times last night. Dead air hangups every time. Second fact, like three That's in the morning, I saw that black cat of his cruising my neighborhood. No, no headlights. If you wanted to kill us, you would have done it at the junkyard. Oh, Jesse's paranoid. You got to be level-headed in a business like this, Jesse. What if, Why am I giving advice like I work in the in I don't work in the industry. I get scared to take an extra Panadol if I need one. What happens when he decides no? I kill him. Walter! <laughs> it is him or us. You understand? It is him or us! Are we going to kill Tuco like this episode? That would be fucking mental if just met him. How would you do it? What do you mean, how would I do it? Specifically, how would you do it? Step by step. Walk up. Hi, Tuco. Bye, Tuco. Bang. She always tests the product, right? So as his head is down, you know, giving it a snort, just pop, pop, pop. Pop, pop, pop. So three <laughs> shots. I fucking love Jesse. Two shots in the chest, two shots in the face. Man, what? come on. No, I'm just trying to understand how this works. He's trying to calculate it. He's a man of mathematics. Okay. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll put a pin in that, but by now. And a bullet in his head like pop, pop, pop. Three, three shots. Okay, three shots. Okay, Tuco and Gonzo, two men down. Now, is there anyone else there? Hmm. He's just going based off their last experience. What if he brings like 10? All right. Well, uh, you know, one for me then if it gets too hard. <laughs> How many bullets does that gun even take? Six. Oh, let me see. I'm gonna say six. He doesn't know how to unload a gun. How can you suggest that we kill a man and you can't even open the gun? <laughs> oh, Jesse. Oh, man. 
That's called running high on emotion. Well, you know, maybe we can just, like, instead of shooting, we just whack him with the end of it. Hey there, you've reached Walt, Skylar, and Walter Jr. Please leave us a message. Well, aren't you the early bird up and out already? I think I dislike Marie more than I dislike Skylar. Marie, I've- Marie's starting to get on my nerves. Yes, we're only on the first episode of season two, but still. Go out and get little take out Hank, boxes. my main man who imports cigars illegally. Skylar didn't pick up. Obviously, she's not home. And Marie's off to steal some more stuff, you know? She's a pro at it. She might come back with some red bottoms or something like that. You only got six more sessions. And I'm doing them. I can't help it if you got your days of the week wrong. Go! She's gaslighting! Blow up her car. I think Dave is, um, really helping you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she, she disagrees. <gasps> oh! Bottom of the barrel. Sorry about that. That kid does not look real. That looks like an AI generated child. She's a... Give him just the wad of cash. Hey, where's my phone call? Ow! <laughs> Hank is awesome. I love Hank. Check this out. Oh, that's from the... Thermite. From season one. Burns about 5,000 degrees. Kind of stuff you see on a James Bond movie. Did they have cameras? Were they rolling? Was Daniel Craig there? I take that back. <laughs> what, they didn't think about uh, stealing a hand truck? Hey, try rolling it, morons. It's a barrel. It rolled. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's funny. They're cooking old school biker meth. Mm. He's so gonna, he's so gonna catch on. Oh! I'd say these two know the chemistry. But ranking them as burglars? <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't trust these two to break into the Special Olympics. I feel like they'd have a better chance doing that than the actual Olympics. You better pray it's us who catches up to them and not those boys from Juarez. What the hell is Juarez? Is that like the next level up from you guys? That's an undercover car. No? Okay, it's not. I thought we were looking at an undercover car then. Oh, f it is. Oh, who's in that? That is fucking terrifying. I hate that. Why can't they drive a white car without windows? All right, make it easier for us. He's not gonna be able to go to sleep tonight. He's gonna have to have some of his meth to knock himself out. If I had Lightning McQueen down the end of that hallway watching me and I found out, I would not be able to sleep tonight. Thankfully he isn't there. He's been up all night. He has been up all night watching out that window. <gasps> oh. Is this season going to be like about paranoia and stuff like that? Hey, it's me. Thought I'd try you earlier this time before you go out. I'm realizing now it probably takes you a little longer to get to the phone owing to the extra baby weight. It actually should be a lot quicker because she has four legs now. Well, did you spend the entire night out here? Oh, uh, no, no. Well, not all of it. I mean, Babe, no, I've been playing my PS5 all night. My stomach, you know, and uh, I knew I was going to be up and down, so I just didn't want to wake you. You sure it was Tuco? Well, who else could it be? Exactly. I don't think it is anyone else. Tuco must have put out, like, you know, feelers. I love Jesse's shirt. I w <laughs> I'm so sorry. You guys are talking about life and death here. I want that shirt. And what happens when he finds out that my brother-in-law is a DEA agent? It's like the Punisher logo if the Punisher was goofy. I finally figured out how to look. I just finally, I, I figured it out. YouTube tutorial. I've got a better idea. Thank God. Sell more drugs. Beans. Beans. Beans? Castor beans. So what are we going to do with them? Grow a magic beanstalk? Huh? Climb it? And escape? Go see Jack. Wait, no, Jack's the one that goes up the beanstalk. Ricin. It's an extremely effective poison. It's toxic in small doses. Also fairly easy to overlook during an autopsy. What the fuck? All right, Mr. White. KGB modified the tip of an umbrella to inject a tiny pellet into the man's leg. And we're talking about an amount not much bigger than the head of a pin. It killed him? Oh, yes. 
He's a genius. I want to be on Team Walter, Team Heisenberg, whatever the f*** he goes by now. Now we just need to figure out a delivery device and then no more Tuco. So you're telling me I wasted a hundred dollars on a gun. I could have gone to the grocery store and bought a f***ing bean for 30 cents. Is that Jeffrey Epstein? Who the hell are you in the photo with? Hi, guy. Hey, Hank. Is he on to something? It's a bad time. I should have called first, I'm sorry. <laughs> Aren't you like brother-in-law? You don't need to do that. Immediate family doesn't necessarily need to call. You wanna, you wanna sit down first? I don't know, Hank. Depends on whether or not this is gonna be about Marie. Did she send you? Hell no. This ain't about Marie. Return her phone calls. I don't- Oh. Oh, it's as simple as just please answer the phone. Communication, communication, right? Back and forth. Come on, Sky, do this for me, please. For your big man, Hank. Uh, I'll call instead. Fuck my wife. I don't get to anymore. Marie is a shoplifter, Hank. <laughs> That's right. Uh-oh. That baby tiara she gave me at the shower, she stole it from Gertrude Zachary's. I almost got arrested when I went back to return it. I had to tell them I was pregnant and I didn't want my child to be a criminal. If I thought you were going to return it, I would have never... He knew. What? What? You knew about this. Oh. We're, we're working on it. She's, she's got issues. I've got issues. We've all got bloody issues. I'm not going to arrest my wife. The only time my wife gets to wear handcuffs is in the bedroom. We gotta support the shit out of her. Oh. No. I need support. She's literally the pregnant one with a husband who has cancer. Now I'm supposed to go, Hank. Please. What can I possibly do to further benefit my spoiled, kleptomaniac bitch sister who somehow always manages to be the center of attention? Because God knows she's the one with the really important problems. <laughs> Holy pop off, Skylar. Oh my God. Oh, hey, if you're gonna, you're gonna hug her like that, don't hug her. That is... What are you well, doing? Take a look at that utility closet. What are you doing? Why are you hugging her like that? You're hugging her like you think you're gonna get pregnant if you touch her. You're not. I love that they just show you how to straight up make a poisonous bean. <laughs> That's awesome. That's all it takes. Unreal. That's all it takes. I would be dead. I would get poked by an umbrella and die. Now we arrange our next meet in a public place this time, nice and safe. This is going to go so fucking backwards. There's no way they pull this off. Tuco, the new meth formula we've been working on. Would you care to try it? Okay, well, what's, what's new about it? Just in case he asks, what do we say? I don't know. Whatever you want. No. That degenerate snorts anything he gets his hands on. Within the next 48 hours, it'll look like natural causes. What, like a heart attack? Are you sure this bean's gonna kill him? This man has probably snorted every substance on the planet. He might be immune. <sighs> Damn, wasn't the burner phone? Hey, Hank, what's up? Uh, um, what, what has happened? I apologize in advance for the earfling in here from Skylar. I was just trying to get her and Marie talking again. Big mistake, I should have just kept out of it. Hank, you can't just pop up in a scene like this when you... <sighs> Jesus. My wives, huh? I thought Skylar was in a fucking car accident or something. Don't let me keep you. I'm at work, so... So next time, please don't be at work. You almost gave me a heart attack. You gotta check out this crime scene, me and, uh, me and Gomi out here. Just like... Um... <laughs> dude, you can't... You can't do that. Hang on, hang on. It should be coming through right now. I guess it could be worse, huh? Be having a day like these two. <gasps> a couple of local bullet heads. Guess they pissed off the wrong guy. Oh. Well, you there? Oh. Oh no. I'm taking this. Go buy ten. Buy all the guns. Tuco killing Gonzo means he's coming after us next time. I've got to get home. I don't think it's Tuco. It wouldn't make sense for Tuco to kill these people off. He needs his men. How are you going to explain this to Skylar calmly? Hey, get in the car. We're going on a holiday. We're going to fucking Disneyland. Hey, well, I don't know if you know this. I can't go on any of the rides. I'm pregnant. Skylar. Oh, no. Oh, there's no way. Walter Jr. 
If his family is killed, I'm gonna scream. Dude, put the gun up like that, maybe. Actually, then if Skylar walks out, you're in trouble. You just hear the, like, John Carpenter Halloween theme play. Oh, okay. That, well, that song's not gonna play. Where's Walter Jr.? Having dinner at Lois's house. Get out of the bath! So where have you been this time? The f Dude! Okay, yeah, we gotta protect the money. Ass. Did I just see you glued them down to the vent? That's ge that's genius. Okay, that's showing his obsession a bit. Just dispose of the disposable nappies for the cash instead. Walt! Skyler's so gonna open that up at some point. He's like, what the f Where's the diapers? Oh yeah, <laughs> she's gonna open that box. I don't know what she's gonna be more upset by. The fact that the nappies are missing or that there's a gun in there. Hey, do you mind if I get in there? Oh, go ahead. I don't think Tuco killed them. Maybe it was Kingpin. <laughs> Kingpin. I see lots of blood, but no, uh, no bullet holes. Yeah, you done taking pictures? They've been placed there. What? <laughs> is his face just still on the car? Was he glued to it? This guy wasn't murdered. Look, big stuff here was uh, moving this guy's body when the uh, the stack must have shifted. Crushed his arm, pinned him here, and he, uh, he bled out. Oh! Oh, I love it. Don't you just. See, I wouldn't have picked that. Make sure you get the stump in there. Hank. <laughs> Hank. Dude. <laughs> Dude, that makes a lot of sense, actually. He would have come back to move him better when it was dark, and then, yeah, okay. Would you talk to me, please? I don't know where to begin. <sighs> Get in the bath with her. Oh, God. He doesn't know that... They weren't killed. He still thinks Tuco took them out. What the hell are you doing here? <gasps> Get in. My wife's in the bath. He left the gun inside. The gun's in the nappy box. He has no protection. It's cool. Oh my God, your wife is gonna be so pissed off at you. Ugh. Maybe we can use some of that $737,000 when we get it to maybe buy a new car, maybe. No! Fucking <laughs> damn it! They're always going to end on cliffhangers. Every time. Every time they're going to end on a cliff... All right, well, absolutely solid start to season two uh, or, you know, season one, episode eight. <laughs> so the next episode would have been the finale of season one. And uh, you'll be seeing that next week because editing one episode per week is a lot easier for me than editing two and a movie. Anyways, that's where I'm leaving it for today. Please leave a like if you haven't already to show me that you want to see more Breaking Bad and uh, leave a comment about anything. Literally comment what you had for dinner. Subscribe if you haven't already because one, it gives you something to watch and two, we got more Breaking Bad every week. We got movies every week. I'm editing all the time. <laughs> There's something for you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll